Hey guys, Jasmine here. So today I'm back with a collective drugstore haul and I have gone to different drugstores, CVS, Dwayne Reed, Walgreens, Target, you name it. I have been eyeing a couple of things and I have actually run out of a couple of makeup items and I actually saw a couple of new makeup items that I want to try out and so I figured why not, you know, show you guys what I bought and maybe I'll do a product review on a couple of these items. If you guys want that, let me know which products you want me to review in the comment section below and I'm just gonna get right into it okay. so the first place I went to was Target and this is all of my goodies in here at Target I actually had to uh, stock up on some cotton pads because I actually ran out I usually like to put some toner onto a cotton pad and just swipe it over my skin morning and night to I guess balance out my pH and my skin and that sort of thing. So I actually got the uh, cotton square, the padded cotton squares from Target, the Up and Up brand. And these are pretty affordable. These do the job and they have 160 in them and these last me a very long time. And so I like to purchase the big bag or the big pack. So the next thing I purchased was the CoverGirl True Magic Skin Perfector. It's supposed to mattify your skin and I am really excited to try this out because I have very oily skin and I really wanna see how this works out on me and my skin and I'm hoping this works out. I kinda wanna do a first impressions on this. It says oil-free, non-greasy, won't clog pores, dermatology, dermatologically tested and controls shine so I can't wait to see if this really lives up to the hype the next item I purchased was the L'Oreal telescopic carbon black mascara and I follow Carrie Bell on YouTube she is absolutely gorgeous she uses this all the time this is one of her makeup staples and her eyelashes are always so long and thick and I wanted to try this out so that's why I purchased it I actually end up getting a coupon from L'Oreal plus since I am a Target red card customer I get an extra percentage off so I saved a lot on this so I'm very very happy the next thing I purchased was actually this Revlon brow fantasy brow pencil one side is a pencil and one side is the brown gel and one of the makeup makeup professionals over there at target she suggested i get this because i really wanted the maybelline maybelline brow pencil but they were out of stock so i ended up purchasing this and honestly i don't care much for this i tried this out already and it just doesn't do much for me i don't like it at all i don't care for it if anything i've been using the brown gel side to set my eyebrows once i've done filling them in um yeah this kind of sucks because i spent like what eight bucks on this and this definitely wasn't worth it so the next place i went to was Dwayne reed I only got three items. The first item is actually this Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Nude Eyeliner. And this I would like to put like on the inner, inner waterline of my eyes to give me that sort of awake, more awake look. So definitely want to try this out. I've heard a lot of good reviews about this. So I'm really excited to try this out and I will definitely let you know what I think about it. So I ended up purchasing the Maybelline Master Shape Eyebrow Pencil. So one side is a pencil, the other side is a spoolie. And this is supposed to be similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil. Um, I've tried this. I honestly, I don't care for the pencil itself I mean I'll use the spoolie but I honestly don't care for this I really find that my wet and wild dark brown eyebrow pencil really works best for me so I'm just gonna stick with that for now I definitely want to try the Anastasia brow with pencil one of these days but uh, it's $20 and uh, I don't know I'm not impressed the next item I purchased over at Dwayne Reed I'm really excited about. This is the Black Radiance True Complexion BB Cream. And I was walking around Dwayne Reed and I saw this just like on a display. And they had a coupon on it. So I got actually, I got a dollar off of this. This was originally $4.99, I believe. And I got a dollar off. And so I ended up paying what? Uh, three? 
$9.99. I think the color that best suits me is brown sugar, but I definitely want to do a product review on this. This has SPF 15. It's supposed to be an oil-free beauty balm. And I am uber, uber excited to try this. And it's just very sleek. It kind of reminds me of the Iman BB cream packaging because of the gold cap. The last thing I purchased at Dwayne Reed was the Wet n Wild H2O Waterproof Eyeliner and I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now and I really love this eyeliner. It's super rich, super black and it really, I mean it is, I, I mean it has, it has a long hold. I don't want to say that it's like 24 hours or if it's like true waterproof but I love how dark and black the eyeliner looks. It just looks very sharp and the, the, the applicator is so precise. It's a beautiful pointy tip and you can get a really nice precise line with it. So I really, really love this Wet n Wild eyeliner and I definitely recommend for those of you who are looking for a very affordable eyeliner to definitely check Wet n Wild's brand out. Okay, so the Eyeliner wasn't the last thing I purchased at Dwayne Reed. This is the last thing that I purchased. This is the Milani Nail Liqueur. And the color of this is Lavender Fizz. And this really spoke to me. It's purple, it's glitter, it's me, guys. What more can I say? Uh, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm uber, uber excited to try this out. And... Yeah, I'm really super excited, so <laughs> definitely stay tuned. I might even do a nail tutorial on this if you guys want. Thumbs up the video. So the next place I went to was CVS. I only purchased two things at CVS. The first thing actually was these cotton rounds. I got these cotton rounds at CVS because they were actually cheaper there than at Target. So I ended up purchasing these. These are just regular cotton rounds. So the last thing I purchased over at CVS is kind of different uh, through a couple of recommendations from other beauty gurus. I decided to purchase it and I'm definitely gonna try it out uh, on my face. It is the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. Now I know what you're thinking. That's supposed to go on your cooch magooch, not your, not your face. But I heard this was similar to the Smashbox primer, and I wanted to try this out. I purchased for like eight bucks. The Smashbox primer is probably a lot more than that. So I figure, what have I got to lose? And a lot of people talk about this, so definitely want to try this out. Definitely gonna let you know. I'm gonna keep you updated, and yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna work this out and and if this doesn't work on my, my skin here i guess i could you know use it somewhere else if need be so the last couple of items i purchased were from icadehouse.com and really i was looking for a new concealer because i ran out of my boing concealer i have abused it and used it till it hit pan and back okay guys yeah it's it's gone i needed a concealer something that was good coverage, affordable, the right color, with great reviews, and I was looking around and, you know, looking at other folks' videos, and a lot of them had been using the LA Girl Pro Concealers, and I didn't know which ones were my color or my shade, so I purchased five. I didn't know which ones were my color, but I have actually been using Beautiful Bronze, and this is incredibly amazing. I kind of wish that the uh, the applicator was wasn't a brush. I kind of wish it was like the uh, the Mac concealer in the tube without the the brush. Um, but other than that, I love it. It's creamy. It does not cake on me. It does it, it does a beautiful job at covering blemishes and dark spots. And I love this. I've been putting this under my eyes and anywhere that I've noticed some sort of discoloration. And um, as far as the other concealers, I don't know. I might give them away to one of you guys or a couple of you guys or I might use this dark brown color as a contour because I think that could that could work. They were only a dollar ninety nine so I bought five. I paid ten dollars for five concealers. 
that is an awesome buy okay guys and shipment the delivery was so quick like I got it within within seven days it was ridiculous I I love it I think I might definitely check out IK house more often all right everyone that is all for my collective haul please thumbs up if you liked it and also thumbs up if you want to see more collective hauls like this it's been a while since I've done something like this and I don't know if you guys still like this sort of thing so definitely thumbs up if you do like it and leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know what products you want me to do reviews on or things of that nature and I will most definitely bring that out to you guys also I'm on Instagram I'm on Facebook WordPress I mean you name it I'm on it links are down below in the description box also, Alan came out with a cooking video, finally, and it is amazing. Uh, his links are down below as well. And that is all for today's video. I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all next time. Peace.